Welcome. As I entered the Science Center today, the last pieces of the Mark I computer were there, just ready to be transported over to Alston, to the new science complex. And somehow I thought this is kind of symbolic, right? Mathematics has really become a huge, huge uh, field and uh, split into many different parts. And one of them is applied mathematics and applied mathematics has now moved over the Charles River on the other side to Alston uh, in the new science complex. I just flew my drone two days ago over and I show you a movie from this science center over to the other science center. <clears throat> I've also some pictures of the last pieces of the Mark I computer and I just thought it might be uh, interesting to expand this a little bit. First of all, Mark I is really also a symbol for the move from analog computers to digital computers. We don't have any more much appreciation for analog computers in the planimeter, but this is a, an example of a, of, a, of a machine which was used. Integration machines were used to compute Fourier coefficients. And, uh, but these analog computers, they were mostly developed at MIT and uh, at Harvard and the, the Mark one came. Now I cannot uh, stop also while talking from analog to digital also talk about maybe another revolution which is going on right now between digital and quantum but in some sense I see this as a renaissance of analog computers. These machines were very powerful they could solve differential equations with 16 16th order or systems of equations so in some sense uh, kind of if you if you look when you come here the, the ball positions was, was, a, was a continuum space, right? And here you have again going back from the from the bits, you know, one or zeros, you go back to a continuum space. So in some sense it's a it's a it's a renaissance of uh, analog computing. I actually don't believe it will it will shatter the, the church Turing thesis which says that everything which you can compute can be computed by a Turing, Turing machine already. So there's a possibility that it, it, shatters, uh, it shatters the complexity classes like, I mean, there's this Shor algorithm which, which allows to factor uh, integers uh, in principle fast with the, with, the, with the computer. But on the other hand, I think you have almost to walk the talk, factor this uh, integer, the 13th, uh, the 13th Fermat, Fermat number. So Feynman mathematicians prepare abstract reasoning that is prepared to be used even so they do not know what it is being used for. I think especially today this is absolutely no more true. You know, most mathematicians are actually very, very concerned whether it can be used or not, <coughs> also in abstract ways. He was a friend also of John von Neumann. So, so there are quite a few people here which I want to mention, which are uh, many of them are interconnected. Yeah, he said, I'm a pure mathematician who has sunk so low that my latest paper actually contained numbers with decimal points. So this has been reported by, by a nephew of Lise Meitner, uh, Frisch. And many of these uh, people were actually related to the uh, Manhattan Project and the Mark I computer was doing one of the first computations for the Manhattan Project. John von Neumann was in 44 already doing some computations on the Mark I. So here is a, is a list of uh, uh, 20 heroes of mine and it's kind of interesting to see from, from each whether it is a pure mathematician or applied mathematician. I wanted to say something about the Swiss connection with Mark I. So Stiefel sent Rutishauser and Speiser to uh, Harvard and and to Princeton to learn about the computing and they then kind of built their uh, Swiss version, electric reaction machine with ETH, Hermes. <clears throat> Maybe here, just because we are local, I just, Van Bush was born in Everett. He then had a, so Everett is here. He had a, a, a girlfriend in Chelsea, so he needed money and he was working. He was actually from Tufts originally and got the job also at Tuft and worked at the MIT. He was also founder of Raytheon, that's all over the place, uh, many places where I um, bike or run through, this is Raytheon, and uh, like also in Burlington. Also, uh, his son was uh, was uh, founding Millipore Sigma, which is a filter 
a company. It's not part of Merck, but it's also uh, there's also a, 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 ca a campus in uh, near the Oracle campus in Berlin. So Van Bush was an interesting person. He wrote a very interesting article, as we may think, which is famous for his vision on in uh, information society. He envisioned kind of some kind of like a a, a device. Memex, which would be could be used to actually store information, because already then in '45 the things became so large that a single person could no more kind of just grasp everything. Maybe just at the very end, uh, let me tell you about Mark One. That's what all tour guides tell you. First of all, it was uh, in action '44 to '59, and then you know, what what is always told is about the times it used. It had. Uh, one one addition uh, needed a third of a second, and one multiplication needed six seconds, and one division needed 15 seconds. Uh, interesting also that uh, it was able to compute, you know, logarithms and cosines or sines using a, a Taylor series, but that needed a minute to compute. So one minute you had to wait to have the value of a sine uh, evaluated. It's quite interesting quite an interesting part of history of computing. I must say I'm a little bit sad, maybe almost upset that this Mark I has been taken away from the Science Center over, snatched away to Alston. But Alston has to have a good start, so that's, that's, uh, that's okay, so that also tourists can go over to Alston. By the way, I suggested once almost 16, 17 years ago to have a a cable car from here, from this science center, over to the Alston campus. So what would be really cool to have a cable car connection from the Harvard ca uh, campus over to the Alston campus and so students and visitors and tourists they could go, all go over, shoot over with a, with a fast, fast, fast connection. It would be really cool. So for now I have to just do to rely on my drone. With my drone I can kind of realize this vision. Uh.